Researchers have discovered a gene that may explain why some people with the autoimmune disease multiple sclerosis get sicker faster. So globally, about 3 million people live with multiple sclerosis, also known as MS, but the real number may be higher. Women are more likely to develop MS than men. When diagnosed, the immune system essentially attacks itself. It attacks the central nervous system, causing symptoms that range from numbness to disability. MS is not an inherited disease, and doctors have struggled to understand why some cases progress faster than others. This latest study combed through 13,000 patients' DNA. It found a gene that is linked to the onset of severe disability. Bruce Bebo is the executive vice president of research for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society in the United States, but was not involved in this study. He said it was the first of its kind, and it could lead to better treatments. Up to now, the genetic underpinnings of the severity of disease have eluded us. And this is the first study to show a genetic underpinning or genetic association with the severity of MS. And that's why this is a big deal. Also help us um, uh, in combination with clinical observations, with demographic observations, and, and, and layering on some genetic information could perhaps um, help predict what course of disease a person is going to have early on in the course of disease. And it could really help, this is, a, uh, you know, could help advance precision or personalized approach to treatment. Sergio Baranzini is a neurology professor at the University of California, San Francisco. You're the lead author of the study, and you're joining us live from Rome today. We appreciate your time. I, I did my best to explain what the study found. You're going to do a better job, though, so help us understand. Let's go through it slowly, please. What did your study find? Well, thank you for having me. Um, this is, um, in fact, the first study showing that there is a genetic predisposition to determining the course of the disease. For a long time, we've known that MS is genetically determined, and some people are at higher risk of developing the disease than others. But eventually, once someone gets diagnosed with a disease, the disease presents in a very heterogeneous fashion. Some patients may evolve very quickly, and after five years, uh, they may be wheelchair-bound, while other patients may be still running marathons 10 years after being diagnosed with the disease. What this study was trying to find out is whether that heterogeneity across patients is genetically determined. And the answer seems to be yes. So why the disease gets evolves faster in some patients than in others. What's the benefit of identifying this gene now that you have found it? Well, for once, um, we know that genetic analysis I, helps identifying the pathogenesis of a disease, so the mechanisms behind what's going wrong in, the disease, in, in these uh, individuals. And uh, this helps enormously to develop drugs to try to counteract the effects. So with all the work that uh, our group, together with the International MS Genetics Consortium, had done over the past 20 years, helped identify more than 200 genetic associations with susceptibility to MS. And that helped the pharmaceutical industry to develop more than 15 approved drugs now that treat the first phase of the disease, the inflammatory phase. Now this is the first study identifying an, a genetic uh, predisposition to a faster disease course, which will help, again, develop drugs to this unmet need, which is the issue of progression. Okay, let's address the how, like how researchers found this. Can you talk to us specifically about the genome-wide analysis and what that is? Yes, in a genome-wide association study, what we do is we collect DNA from the blood of thousands and thousands of patients. And with each DNA sample, we interrogate about 7 million genetic markers these are 7 million changes in the DNA sequence 
that may uh, be linked to a specific outcome. And we look at them one by one, asking whether this could be the one that predisposes someone for, in this case, a faster or slower disease progression. What we found is that there was one unequivocally identified that determines that if someone inherits, inherits this particular DNA change in a homozygote fashion, meaning both copies from mom and dad are the same, this individual will progress much faster, mm -hmm. even at four years faster than someone who does not have this variant. All right, Sergio Baranzini, neurology professor at the University of California, San Francisco. Again, you're the lead author of this study. I incorrectly said earlier that you were joining us from Rome, but you're in San Francisco. Thank you so much for your time today. Well, I'm actually in Rome. Oh, okay. Well, I now in incorrectly no. said that you were in That's San correct. Francisco. I was right the first time. It doesn't matter. We so much appreciate that you took the time to speak to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs>